Hi, welcome to Ruckus Rodeo, a room full of brightly colored painting and large scale sculpture that bring a rodeo into the art museum. I'm Janelle Montgomery with the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. Ruckus Rodeo was commissioned by the museum in the mid 1970s for an exhibition dedicated to the rodeo. The artist, Red Grooms, was born near Nashville in 1937 and settled in New York City in 1957. While there, he was influenced by abstract expressionism and by pop art. Although he found abstract expressionism interesting, he wasn't sure really what to do with it. Pop art, on the other hand, was too cool. He just didn't fit in. He eventually found a niche in happenings, which are semi-scripted events that take the action of abstract expressionism out of the studio. These led him into film, where he would spend hours constructing sets. The film sets and the happenings led eventually to installations like Ruckus Rodeo. Yet you can still see the influence of the abstract expressionists in the color and the motion evident throughout the gallery. The influence of pop art is evident not only in the subject matter that Grooms chose, but also aesthetically. Think about the lines you see in puppetry, cartoons, and circus designs. Red has always been a bit of a maverick. He said, quote, I've always felt that it's good to have the art context because it gives you something to go against. To make Ruckus Rodeo, Red came to Fort Worth and attended every rodeo during the 1974 stock show. He went back to Manhattan and worked up his sketches into the installation you see here. With the help of a group of artists, he called the Ruckus Construction Company. The material is made of fabric impregnated with plastic that softens when soaked in acetone. This has been draped over frames built of wire and wood. The collaborative process places grooms in the role of director and the various artists' hands are visible in the surface decorations. One of them commented, quote, we put 75% of our effort into the idea, 10% into aesthetic problems, and 15% into visiting the hardware store. The work conveys the frenzy and tension of a rodeo, as both participants and spectators anticipate the animal's next moves. At the same time, it gives the animals agency, which is a parody of rodeo traditions. Like a tall tale in Ruckus Rodeo, there's a kernel of truth to the spoof.